She said she was feeling better. We see that regularly with schizophrenia. But it can't be cured. Okay. Hanging in there. Honey, your father's going to take the door off the hinges if you keep locking it. Rick Hong here for Hollywood First Look Features. Today, I'm with writer-director Castile Landon, and we are talking her movie, Fear of Rain. What made you want to sit down and like kind of write this story? Because what I appreciated about it was there's a conversation between Madison's character and Israel's character about you know, schizophrenia. So I don't know if it was kind of put light on that subject with a twist, or if it was just, I want to tell the suspense thriller, and this is a good way to do it. It was born out of a desire to tell a story about a young female protagonist with mental illness. Um, and with the overall aim of being, uh, of starting a larger conversation towards destigmatizing mental illness. So schizophrenia made the most sense because I think it's um, the most misunderstood and the most stigmatized. Um, and as a filmmaker, it, it does add, um, or, or it kind of plays in, like it's very cinematic. When you're going through this script, are you second guessing everything that's going on as you're reading? Because that's what I was doing as I was watching. What drew me to this, uh, this character and the story was Castillo's writing and the way she kind of sets this whole storyline up. Um, you know, you, you sit down, you read the first five page and after the first five pages, it's, it's you don't know what's going on. And so, what I found uh, most exhilarating was trying to figure out who's real and who's a figment of Rain's imagination. Um, and I'm happy watching the film that that was, uh, that was portrayed and came alive. Yeah, actually I had a very similar experience when I first read it. I kind of read it blindly. I didn't know what it was going to be. I knew a synopsis and that was about it. Um, and that's usually how I know if it's a good script. I read them like books and if I'm fully put, like turning the page into it, then I'm like all in. So I had the same exact experience. I think I was on a plane pre-COVID and I started like bawling next to my plane passenger right next to me. And I was like, this is, this is special. Oh wow, so like they were, were kind of like, oh, I, I think you got something in your, uh, something in your eye. Wait, there we go, got something in your eye. <laughs> Oh, goodness. <laughs> Are you okay? Mm -hmm. It's not real. It's not real. Did you hear that? There was a, a girl next door screaming for help. I mean, there's nobody out here. Madison, something that I enjoy about your work, I mean, you know, in Annabelle and uh, Clouds and in this one, it's like, you know, what is your preparation? Like, cause you do this great thing of being in despair and terrified and crying. Um, <laughs> I don't know. Um, <laughs> I do, I do a lot of prep work and it really just, it depends on the role and, and, and what it is, you know, I think it just came with the research and like fully understanding what, people who struggle with schizophrenia go through um, and and learning all about it and and meeting people and and it was just you know and even just like getting to know Rain and who she was and her connection with her father and, and her family trauma and everything she went through so it was already written into the material I think it was it was pretty easy as far as emotionally to be connected to it. Israel, so what is it like to work with Madison and see her like in the in those scenes? Like, I don't know if you get more pumped up and you're like, oh yeah, she's bringing it, or if you're kind of like, wait, I'm getting distracted because like she's just like so just like just doing the moment so well. It was it was a lot of fun. I feel like uh, Madison and I hit it off uh, pretty early. We we found a bond over coffee, and and with that we kind of built off each other's energy. And um, I'm I'm always down to go you know to sixty and then reel it in when we need or bring it up to 100 if we need. And, and Madison was uh, uh, willing and ready to do that uh, at any given moment. So that was nice. And, and um, you know, being on set with, with Harry and Catherine willing to do the same thing. I mean, it, it, both of them are very down to earth. Um, and we all kind of had this, I don't know, this energy about us that, uh, that clicked and it worked. So it was a lot of fun. 
I mean, to be able to have this cast is a dream come true, especially not just as a, as a director, but as a writer, to be able to see this caliber of cast kind of elevate the text. Um, they constantly were just so much better than my imagination. The movie is Fear of Rain. You can catch it on demand February 12th. Until next time, I'm Rick Hong, and you've been watching Hollywood First Look Features. If you go over there, they will take you away from us. I don't care. What if it was me? I'm not just going to sit here. No, no way. Your mind is just playing tricks on you.